off cell phones, flash photography is prohibited. Please announce your name and media affiliation when asking questions and a limit of one follow-up. The student athletes in attendance for West Virginia are Daxter Miles Jr., Issa Ahmad, and Javon Carter. And we'll take questions for the student athletes. Yeah, guys, Mitch Vengel from Charleston Gazette Mail. Just wondering how the preparations have gone in your minds and you think the team's ready. Daxter, if you can answer that question. Um, I think that we, ha we have to have a really good practice today and uh, a good walkthrough tomorrow and um, just get each other's minds ready and prepared to play. Todd Leonard from the San Diego Union Tribune. Javon, um, for those of us who haven't covered you through the years, um, when did defense become such a focus for you? So many guys, you know, want to come in and score all the time. When when did it become a, an emphasis for you and, and important to you? Um, the day I stepped on campus, um, I knew we were going to press coming here. Uh, I knew Coach Huggs was a defensive coach. And um, when I stepped on campus, it was just defense first. Jeff Grammer, Albuquerque Journal. For any one of you guys, knowing, I mean, it's one thing to know you're going to press, and it's one thing for coaches to recruit saying we press a lot. When did you guys kind of get that moment, maybe after you arrived on campus, realizing that it's not just pressing, like, there's a full commitment to the way you guys press. Um, when we started our three-hour practices, um, we, work, we work on our press a lot. We work on defense a lot. Um, it's not a big focus on offense. So um, when you practice for three hours and you feel like you haven't shot the ball all day, that's when you start to notice that um, we're going to play real hard on defense. Any other questions for our student athletes? A follow up to that for any of you. Um, three hour practices and you haven't really shot the ball all day. Is there a point though, when you as players start to question like, are we overdoing it a little bit? Um, and at what point do you kind of let go of all of that and realize that that is the identity? Issa will let you. big emphasis that we, you know, that we emphasize and, you know, coming from our defense, that's that's how we get our offense. So, you know, turning people over and, you know, making them uncomfortable and, get, and getting easy baskets on the other end. Any other questions for our student athletes? For those media here, just uh, know that Coach Huggins doesn't do an opening statement, so it's going to go right to questions.
any anything in Vegas or like any of the Mountain West stuff? to like see all the different entities like that's what's really We will get going with Coach Huggins very shortly.
Reminder once again, turn off cell phones. Flash photography is prohibited. Please announce your name and media affiliation when asking questions. for questions for West Virginia head coach Bob Huggins. Brent Scrotenbor, USA Today. Uh, you coach, you're a fifth seed in the East region, but you've had to come all the way out to the West Coast. And if you win, you'll have to go back to Boston. How do you feel about that? And what's the toughest part of that? Well, I think if anybody's equipped to do it, we can do it after what we do in our league. Um, we fly across the country constantly in our legs. So our guys are pretty used to it. <coughs> Jeff Grammer, Albuquerque Journal. Bob, I'm here covering New Mexico State, but I also cover the New Mexico Lobos, which is a team that tried to press this year and, and re rebuild, rebrand itself as a pressing team. Even talked to Kevin Mackey, like I think you have talked to in the past when you, you made the full shift. That culture change, that first year, there's some hiccups maybe and, and maybe some, some growing pains. A first-year coach, would you give him any advice on the growing pains of making a commitment to, to pressing the way you do? Well, I, I fully believe coaches have got to coach their personality. And, and that, was, that was Kevin's personality. I coached against Kevin. And I've known Kevin forever. And, and Kevin started doing it in high school. And you have to, it's like anything else, you have to have trust in it. If you don't trust it, it's not going to be any good. And, and you have to trust it, and you're going to give up some layups sometimes. You're going to give up some easy shots. Sometimes it's just not going to work. But I think the, the over the long haul, it's been good for us because it's different. You don't, you don't see it all the time. It's like a guy said to me, what well, makes it so effective? I said, well, if you walked out of your hotel room and some guy got about six inches from your face and followed you everywhere you went, wouldn't that bother you? He said, yeah. I said, well, that's what we try to do for, for 40 minutes is do that. A follow-up to that, you, you recruit to this now, and you tell kids when they're coming on campus, this is what they're going to be doing. But there's probably, I, I'm guessing here, and correct me if I'm wrong, there's probably still a moment once they get on campus and are starting to practice when they realize that this is – a lot more than they realize this commitment. And I know um, Carter mentioned earlier, there's three hour practices sometimes where they realize they didn't really shoot the ball much at all. Do you see that moment with your players still and see that kind of realization that this is even more than they thought? Well, first of all, I didn't do a very good job recruiting to this this system. We, we this, this year compared, I think, to the previous two years, we don't have near the foot speed that we had before. And when you're talking about covering the, the amount of area that our guys cover, um, foot speed's important. Uh, everybody wants to play. Everybody says they want to play fast. If you go in any kid's home, they want to know how much do you run. And then as soon as you get them on campus, they don't want to run. They, they, they want the results at the other end, but they really don't want to run. So it's a, I think it's a learning and growing process. Um, JC's been terrific. I mean, it made JC the national player of the year. It's it's got him a heck of a lot of accolades that, you know, if we if we played uh, 58 to 53, he certainly wouldn't get. Bob Mitchfingle, Charleston Gazette Mail. Just wondering, you've talked about the run up to a couple of years ago and how you were disappointed in that. How's how's the practice sessions and everything been to this game? Well, obviously better than they were then. Uh, they could have been better, Mitch. They, they, they probably could have been worse. I mean, we uh, it's a long year, you know. It's a long year. It's a long year of playing against the same people every day. It's a, it's, it's a long year of basically doing the same thing every day. But I thought they, they, we were okay yesterday. I, actually, yesterday I thought we were pretty good. 
most of us. Everybody wasn't, but most of them were. Bob Todd Leonard from the Union Tribune here in San Diego. Um, with Carter, was he any kind of a defensive player before he got to you guys? And I know he wasn't highly recruited. What did you guys see in him that others maybe didn't? Well, I was in Orlando at Disney. Um, got me a big cup of coffee, went in to watch the 8 a.m. game over in in the uh, the new place, which is not the old place. It's uh, And he was in the furthest court away that you could be on. And I went over there, and I'm trying to drink my coffee and wake up, and this guy's pressing at 8 o'clock in the morning. He's it's, it, But no one else on his team is pressing, just him. So he's picking up the ball and pressuring people from end line to end line. And I called my assistants. I said, we got to sign this guy. And they're like, you know, what does he do well? I said, hell, I don't know what he does well, but he sure sure tries to guard. And, you know, he's he's gotten better and better and better because he works so hard. I mean, he really does work. I mean, yet people say, you know, hey, this guy works hard, and that means the guy gets in the gym 15 minutes or 20 minutes before practice. This guy's in there an hour and a half every single day on top of going to practice. And he's made himself a great player. Any other questions for Coach Huggins? All right, thank you. Thank you all.